What's up, everybody? This is Peter again for Sports Hot Rooms and Debates. How are you guys? Listen, I wanted to make a quick video because I promised I'll make a video every single day. But this is something that always bothers me. Why the fuck do people keep signing James Harden? Tell me why. There's not... You can't give me a good answer. Especially now. Right? One, like... The number one thing is he's a cancer. Wherever he goes, they don't win. So it's him. He has a bad attitude. It's the way he is. He doesn't take ownership into his things. There's always something else. There's always problems. Fine. But at least back in the day, you can say when he was, the league was different with the foul calls and everything, what he was doing. But he's older now. He's not going to change your team. All he does is bring drama to your team. That's all he does. So what the fuck are the Clippers doing? They already had three older guys. So now you bring another older guy with drama. Out of shape half the time. Guy throws some of the games when he's in the playoffs because I guarantee he's in gambling or doing what up. The guy is just not a winner. So if you're the Clippers, tell me what you're doing by doing this. Now you got Westbrook, now you got Harden, now you got Paul George, and now you got Kawhi Leonard. So tell me where this team is going anywhere. They're older. They're not going to be able to play with the guys who got the fresh legs. There's always going to be a problem. So one of them going to get hurt. The other one's going to fall on their shoulders. One's going to complain. It's just the same story, but people... It feels like these teams, it has to be a deeper thing. It feels like they don't learn. You know what I mean? Like this man was on Houston, right? And then he was great on Houston because all that bullshit foul calls and the drawing fouls and the jumping over there and the, the swipe through and all the stuff he did. But ever since they changed rules, he's different. He's not the same player. The ball needs to be in his hand. Okay, but now when you got four guys who the ball needs to be in their hand half the time, what are you going to do? You need role players. You can't have four, you know, superstar guys, even though I know they're older, but you just can't have it. Because even if you split the cat, even if you split it all between, you know, those guys, it's still not going to matter because they need, some of these guys need a little bit to get going. Even Jordan, Kobe, they, sometimes they were one for 10 and they needed shots to get going. But if you feel you're only going to get 12 shots to this guy, 10 to this, it's not the same. There's no way they can win. You know, Lou is to me an overrated coach, to be honest with you. But it just, there's no way you can win. They'll be out either the first round, right? And then they'll start complaining. Um, even if they go a little bit further, there'll be something to do with, you know, why this happened and what injury. And I'm waiting for Kawhi to have it, even though Kawhi to me is one of the best players ever. I'm waiting for them to say, this guy is hurt and he's out. And then Harden to say his hamstring. You're just waiting for the inevitable to happen. It's just, it's, it doesn't make sense to me why the Clippers would even bring something. They, if you looked at Brooklyn when they beat them yesterday, right? You, you see Brooklyn's young legs and you can just tell, right? You need to mix some younger guys and some older guys. And that's how it works. You take the older guys, you let PG and you let Kawhi be leaders. Okay, you just cannot have Westbrook and Harden who just have to have all the attention and do all that. It just, it's not winning basketball. Is it fun once in a while? Sure. But what are you doing? If this was 2010, I would say wonderful. You know, it just doesn't make sense to me what teams do. And it's just, you feel for sometimes the fans of these teams. It just doesn't make sense. You know, I don't know. You let me know what you guys think. But I just think James Harden is such a cancer. I think the guy can never, he's never going to win a championship. He just, he strikes me as a selfish individual. And, you know, you could see, I'm sure other teams promised him this and everything, but this man played with Embiid, was criticizing that there wasn't enough. Look at Maxi now. Maxi is bowling out, right? They don't need him. I'm not saying Philly's going to win, right? But they don't need they don't need this guy. You, you just need young guys. You need guys who are looking to win and not all about them. You just can't. To me, this is why I, I really love Giannis. You know, Giannis could have left. Giannis could have done a whole bunch of stuff. But, you know, this guy stood with it and he did it. And, look, they picked up Damian. But, you know, I think you got to look at guys who are hungry to win. And they love to win. And it's not all about them. They, you know, this, all these players from back then, they, it's not like when we were younger when we used to watch the teams, they barely get traded. Everybody just jumps ship from team to team. It's just crazy. Really, and the last thing I'll say is let's take a look at Golden State. There's a superstar on the team in Steph Curry. Clay is a great shooter. But, he, you know, he's older now. Okay? You have a superstar, a really great shooter, and then you have an amazing player in Draymond Green who knows how to win. Right? As much as I don't like the guy. Right? Then you have a really solid player in Andrew Wiggins. You have a really good player in Looney who knows how to his role and get rebounds. You have a really young, good player in Kaminga. Even Dario Sarek they added because they know, they know how to add these role players who fit. 
Philly is, excuse me, the, the Clippers didn't add role players. They're adding superstar after, well, you know, old superstar. That doesn't win. You got, it's a puzzle, right? Like, make believe you have a puzzle and you have the squares of the superstars. But you also need circles, you need triangles. They're trying to fit all these squares into those positions and it cannot happen. It will never happen. It's yet to happen. But yet, teams still do it, and I, I just don't get it. There has to be something deeper involved, unless they want the drama. I, I don't know. But something has to be deeper, because there's no way you can tell me this idiot thinks that this, this guy is going to bring a championship with the Clippers. It just doesn't make sense. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye.